Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Old Time Bible Story Review. Today's scripture comes from Acts chapter 16. were making their way to a prayer meeting. <clears throat> I said, one day, as Paul and Silas were making their way to a prayer meeting, they ran into a slave girl. Now, she happened to be a fortune teller who made tons of money for her bosses, telling people about the future. She started following Paul and Silas around everywhere and yelling out to everyone who would listen that Paul and Silas knew the way to eternal life. Now, this was true because they were telling people about the good news of Jesus Christ. But she kept doing it for days and days and days until Paul couldn't stand it much longer. Paul then commanded the spirit that was ruling her body to leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her, said Paul. And all of a sudden, it was gone, just like that. Unfortunately, now the slave girl could no longer predict the future, so her bosses got really upset when she couldn't make them any more money. <gasps> so they found Paul and Silas, roughed them up a bit, and then dragged them into the public square, where the police found them, and then arrested them for causing a public disturbance. Silas were taken to court where the judges ruled that they should be pushed around and thrown into jail. Oh no! They found themselves locked up in a maximum security prison, put under heavy guard, and then shackled with chains on their legs so they couldn't escape. That night, around midnight, Paul and Silas were sitting in their jail cell, praying and singing songs to God as the other prisoners listened on, when all of a sudden, there was a huge earthquake! The jailhouse shook, and all the doors flew open, and all the prisoners' chains came loose. Startled from his slumber, the jailer ran to the prison. When he saw that all the doors were opened, oh, no. he assumed that all the prisoners had escaped. <gasps> so, he pulled out his sword and was about to do himself in because he figured he was going to be in big trouble. When all of a sudden, he heard Paul's voice. Stop, said Paul. Don't hurt yourself. We're all still here, and no one has run away. Shocked, the chair ran inside and collapsed in front of Paul in silence. Answer. Believe in Jesus Christ. Then you will be saved. You and your whole family. And that very hour, the jailer took Paul and Silas, patched up their wounds, then brought them to his home where he and his whole family were baptized in the name of Jesus. 
and came to believe in the one and true God.